was either succumb to everything that cancer took or embrace everything that cancer gave me. Laura Webster won gold in Tokyo, earning her fifth medal for Team USA. I have goosebumps just saying it right now. Um, it was something that truly felt like we gave it our everything. Coming from the 2004 games in Athens and now having finished the you know, 2020 games in Tokyo, how much progress we have made amongst the Paralympic movement and within the community and within the U.S. as a whole has been amazing. Laura has been a member of the women's national sitting volleyball team since 2003, but she's also dedicated to her family. This super mom was five months pregnant with her fourth child when she competed in 2021. So four and two. My family's everything. I mean, they're the reason that I do what I do. They're the reason that I work so hard to balance both. I know you're here for volleyball and she is a great volleyball player. She's an all time great but she's more than that. She is obviously my wife, I love her. Maddie. She's an amazing person, but she's a great mom too. It's she's okay. probably the best mom I've ever, ever met. Her journey has taken her through ups and downs. Laura was diagnosed with osteosarcoma or bone cancer in her left knee at age 11. It was either succumb to everything that cancer took or embrace everything that cancer gave me. And you've got one life, you might as well live it the best that you can. And if that's viewed as being a strength, then that's one thing. But I had, in my mind, there was no other option. I had to deal with what I was given and made life what it could be. She underwent rotation plasty surgery that would allow her left ankle to act as the knee so her foot fits into a prosthetic leg. That meant she could play sports. When I was first introduced to adaptive sports, I was 16. I had never lived a life that I needed adaptive sports. So when I was first told about them, I immediately said no because I had never pictured myself as a disabled athlete and I had never envisioned myself as disabled. But after meeting other players at the training center in Colorado Springs, she opened up to this new world. We all had the understanding of what it was like to live and deal with the, you know, the frustrating things of getting a new prosthetic built or you know, the stares from strangers or the weird questions, you know, and there was this instant family feeling because you had a common understanding. And um, it's been almost 19 years in this life and it's been absolutely amazing. And then you start entering the world of adaptive sports and outsiders look in and disabled sports are kind of seen as a watered down version of the regular sports that we see on TV. And that's a terrible stigma. I think that stigma will always exist but we are making a lot of progress and I love seeing the trajectory in which we're going with in our culture and social media has been a huge part of that because it's not, it's not surprising to see an athlete missing a limb. After having made it to five Paralympic games, she's not hanging up her uniform just yet. Laura has her eyes on Paris 2024 and beyond. Long-term goals, I would love to say professionally that Paris is a possibility. Come Paris, I will be 38, um, which is not the oldest player that we have had on our volleyball team at a Paralympics. Um, but I feel great, and as long as I can be relevant and contribute to my team's success, I would love to play as long as possible. Mm -hmm.